this study right here, this study right here is going to change your perspective on protein intake post-workout. Hello folks, Scientific Health with a K here. Yes, we added new things to the studio. Today, we are breaking down a groundbreaking study done by Tromelin and all December 19, 2023. So it's brand new and fresh. This research is a game changer because it's going to challenge our beliefs on nutrition, especially protein, post-workout. I believe this study is going to be eye-opening, jaw-dropping. So buckle up. Tromolone and his team took a deep dive into the anabolic response to varying protein amounts after workout. And they found out the anabolic response to protein ingestion after exercise has no upper limit. Let me say that again, has no upper limit. Let's take a look at the key findings of this research. I'm not gonna explain them, but I'm just gonna say them. Extended anabolic response. Minimal impact on amino acid oxidation. The autophagy was not affected. I have to explain this. The study found that protein ingestion did not affect muscle protein autophagy. Exogenous amino acids as precursors. The research highlights the vital role of exogenous amino acids. Let's move on to the results and the study design. Randomized. The researchers tested their hypothesis using interestingly labeled milk protein in a randomized controlled trial. The participants were categorized into three groups. First group ingested 25 grams, the second group ingested 100 grams, and the third group were given placebo. Of course, that was after resistance exercise session. Fusions. Staple isotope amino acid infusions were used, and the blood and muscle samples were collected over time, and they showed very amazing results. This study challenges the common belief that the anabolic response post-exercise has limits. Cut quadruple isotope tracer. This is hard to say, but the researchers used an advanced quadruple isotope tracer feeding infusion method. The team showcased that the ingestion of 100 grams of protein post-workout had more anabolic response and a prolonged one compared to ingesting 25 grams. This study, as we saw, highlighted the underestimated magnitude of protein ingestion and having an upper limit after workout. Tremendo. The most important thing about this study is there is no upper limit of ingesting protein after workout. Some people say that you should only consume between 40 and 50. And as we saw, until 100 grams of protein, the anabolic response is still going and actually it is prolonged. Again, we go back to saying what's the most important thing, as I mentioned before. The most important thing is that you hit your total protein intake within 24 hour window. And the best thing that I do and you should do is to space your protein all over these 24 hours. I hope you learned something today. Check out the other videos to learn more.